Sirius XM's Martha Live. Tell us, how did you decide to create a vegetable garden on your tennis court? Well, we have been living in Western Connecticut for a good many years, and we actually moved into our house about 20 years ago. It's an 1850s classic Connecticut colonial, Mm -hmm. and the tennis court was already there. It had been originally built in the 1930s. Mm -hmm. So it, it was something we wouldn't have probably built ourselves, but when we moved in, the fencing had been, had fallen down, and the asphalt was all cracked so since our children were still a bit younger we decided we would put the fencing up again and repave the court but in truth none of us play tennis I hate to say that so every the, ch- the kids would s- rollerblade or skateboard or you know occasionally we would hit a ball over the <laughs> net but um, after they grew up and moved away it was just kind of sitting there and I have a large flower garden, and I had tried to incorporate the vegetables into the flowers, but there wasn't enough room. So my husband, I said, I'm going to make a vegetable garden. And my husband said, oh, no. But he said, "There, <laughs> why don't you put it on the tennis court? Because it's already fenced in. And that's really, it was his idea. And then I thought, oh, OK, that's that sounds great. So I kind of just, I did the layout, and I decided what size I wanted the bets to be, and that's how we started. 